Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MS Active Webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to manage domain user accounts in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. This is the second part of videos on how to manage domain user accounts in Active Directory. There are several tools that you can use to manage user accounts including Windows PowerShell, the DS Mode EXE command line tool, Active Directory users and computers, and the Active Directory Administrative Center. In this video, we will use Active Directory users and computers to manage Active Directory user accounts. Sign in as a member of the Domain Admins group or you can sign in as a member of the Account Operators group. From the Server Manager's tool menu, select Active Directory Users and Computers. In Active Directory Users and Computers snap in, look at the OU that contains your user accounts. We will use the Sam Cooks user account for this demo. Right click the account and then select Properties. In the User Properties dialog box, click the Account tab and then configure the available settings as per requirements. Account tab is used to configure domain user account information. The account tab's name fields are critical because they contain the user credentials. Account settings are also vital to protect the network resources as well as the account. When we create the user account, we need to specify the user's first name and last name. But with those information, we also have to specify the user's logon name which user will use to log into any domain joint computer or to access network resources from our active directory. As we can see, for Sam Cook's user account, user's UPN is samc at msaptivewebcast.com. By default, the suffix in your user's logon name is the name of your domain. In our case, it is at msaptivewebcast.com. If you want additional UPN suffix in your Active Directory, you have to add UPN suffix by using Active Directory Domains and Trust. We will see later on that how we can add additional UPN suffix in Active Directory and assign it to the user's logon name. In this video, we will cover other options which are available on Account tab like Logon As and Logon To. Logon as specify the days and times of the week when the account can be used. The default is always. That means the user account Sam Cook can use this account to log in anytime in our Active Directory. We want to deny login on Saturday and Sunday. Let's select this and select Logon Denied. You want to do the same for Saturday as well? And denied. If you want, you can also specify the custom time duration for weekdays. But in this example, we'll be okay with it. Click OK. Click on Apply to save the changes. So we have configured that Sam Cook can only use this user account to log in in weekdays from Monday to Friday. By default, when we create new Active Directory users, they are automatically added to the domain users group. The domain users group is added to the local users group on a domain workstation when it is joined to the AD domain. This means that any domain user can log on to any computer in the domain. Using logon to option, we can allow or deny user logon to the domain computers. For example, you want to allow a specific user to log in only on their own computers. Click on Log on to. As you can see, the user is allowed to log on to all domain computers. To allow a user to authenticate only on specific computers, select the following computers option and add the names of the computers a user can log on to. You must specify the full NetBIOS or DNS computer name. The value is not case sensitive. Type win10-cli01 and click on Add. You can add up to 64 computers to this list. User is only allowed to log in to those computers 
which are added in this list. Now Sam Cooke can only log on to the computer with the name win 10 cli one Click on OK. Click on Apply to save the settings. Next, we have Account is Locked Out option. Unlock Account option can only be selected when the account has been locked. This occurs when a user attempts to sign in using an incorrect password and exceeds the thresholds of incorrect passwords, which we can define in Account Lockout policy. In future videos, we will see how we can configure Account Lockout policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. We have already discussed password related options when we created the user account. Aside from the options you define when you created the account, you can enable some more advanced options for accounts that are used in sensitive situations requiring more security. Settings included, smart card is required for interactive logon, account is sensitive and cannot be delegated, and this account supports Kerberos AES-128 or 256-bit encryption. All those options are here. You can configure these options as per your requirement. To configure that option, you just need to select the checkbox in front of that particular setting. You can configure an expiration date for an account using account expires. This is often useful for accounts used by interns or temporary staff. After the account is expired, you can reassign the account to the next intern and reconfigure the expiration settings. For example, let's configure end date for this account to 1st February. Click on Apply and OK to save these changes. So this way, we can configure Active Directory users account tab information. That's all for this video on how to manage an Active Directory user account using GUI interface. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.